Welcome to the first episode of the Greencast. We're thrilled to be here and to share our passion for all things City of Greenpoint with you. I'm your host, Baseballer, and I'm joined by my co-host, Alaska State Player. As we explore the exciting world of Greenpoint... Uh, in this episode, we're going to be discussing some of the latest events in Greenpoint, including the upcoming court case and controversy around it. And we're also going to be sharing some of our experiences as department heads, as well as some behind-the-scenes stories from our own experiences in Greenpoint. We hope you will join us on this journey as we explore everything that makes City of Greenpoint such a unique and exciting community. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the very first episode of The Greencast. Hey, how's it going, Alaska? How's your day so far? Um, it, It's been a long day. I mean, I've been awake probably like 15 hours. Yeah. That, but it's been a good day. Yeah, um, uh, we we How's had your day? my day is pretty good. Um, other than a headache I had. Um, yeah, I heard about that. Oh yeah, it was, it was horrible. Had a, I couldn't do any. I that's actually why I um, I, I had to get off of my PC just in all in general and take a little nappy nap, just so. Yeah, I, I saw that. Oh yeah, you saw that. You have cameras in my room. Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, I got them all over the place. Oh. I'm just kidding. You sent that message somewhere. I forget where you sent it, but you sent it somewhere. Oh, yeah. I probably sent it somewhere in GDOJ. Um, yeah. Talking about DOJ, um, what's it like running that uh, specific uh, department? Um, It was definitely a change. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I never had law experience prior to me founding DOJ. Um, it was definitely, it definitely took some uh, adapting and getting used to. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I, I was a, I, I am a justice there. Um, I started out as a justice. chief justice, actually. Well, yeah, I, I started out as a justice and then I became a chief justice. Um, yes, yes. And uh, recently we had um, a new surge of justices that just joined us. Um so congratulations to um, Drag and Goofy, who are uh, Court of Appeals, and then Jake is the G12, um, uh, Ruby, and um, I feel like I'm forgetting one. Um, Supreme. Supreme, yes. Good luck. Uh, good job to all of those who uh, came into. Uh, the a justice position there. Um, yeah, and if you missed, and if you wanted to run, but you missed the opportunity to sign up for the election, there will be more elections in the future. Uh, even if you don't want to become a justice, there's there's a lot of roles at the Greenpoint Department of Justice you can do. Yeah, we have fifty six staff positions that are available for various things. In fact. Uh, we have something for everyone. Uh, we got finance. We got HR. We got press. We got uh, databases. We got justices. We got attorneys. We got we got everything. Name it. Then we have it. <clears throat> exactly. And um, uh, Alaska, um, you yeah. just released a video uh, tonight, actually. Um, on the tutorial to use the centralized roleplay identity uh, management program. Um, can you just sum I that did. video up for us? Because I personally have not watched that, and I'm sure people yeah. listening. Have yeah, not. I tried to make it as short as I could, but there, I mean, it does take time to, to get through it. Um, so basically, uh, if you've ever wanted whitelisted community in Greenpoint, this is basically the best you're going to get. To put it simply. Um, it's it's more advanced role play and public service basically. Ah, uh, that was our goal with it. Very well put. Uh, yeah. Um, talking about GDOJ, um, there's a um, preliminary hearing, I believe they call it uh, today, um, and it, it's 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 kind of it's kind of uh, controversial. 
within the city of Greenpoint. Um, it, it was, um, and that's actually a very good name for it. I never thought of that. I've been calling it a criminal indictment hearing the whole day, and I never thought of a preliminary hearing. Thank you, baseballer. No problem, no problem. And um, <laughs> about that, um, if you haven't heard about it, basically um, a trooper from Greenpoint State Police, uh, <laughs> basically the trooper went ahead and um, hit um, Flareon, right? They mm -hmm. wham. But the, the funny thing is, Flareon hit him first. Yeah, so it's it's a complicated situation. It really is. But per personally, if if the trooper would have hit it, uh, hit Flareon back when they kicked um, the trooper, it, it, there would be no problem. Although the trooper did turn off their body cam, which that's yeah, that's that's the whole thing that made that made it sketchy. Yeah. Um, and we're getting like three different stories from three different people, and it was uh. It was interesting, so we're going to see what the court rules. And um, a court date uh, has not yet been set for that, but um, we may here on the Greencast um, bring transcripts of that, um, if th if that's possible. Um, yeah, we, we shall see. We, we shall see. We're going to leave you guys guessing there. Um, but... Uh, since then, uh, there has a, been a few more cases of police brutality that we've seen. Um, yes, indeed. Yeah, um, including, uh, uh, I believe it's a park police member that um, did it. Uh, I'm trying to scroll through my direct messages here, try to find it. But I am not having that good luck. But I also received 20 messages today. So... Uh, mm. But basically, um, a Greenpoint police um, member, I believe, don't don't hold me on that. But uh, they went ahead and slapped a um, person that was getting arrested, um, mm. which is it's it's the, the uprise of police brutality after that incident within the city of yeah. Greenpoint is just that's interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. This is the only shop I will talk this whole podcast. It will be dealt with. Okay. So, uh, baseballer, let's let's talk about you. Let's talk about uh, how. Let's talk about uh, Gilan. How did police? Um, you don't know who police is. He's our founder. Um, how did police approach you and offer you that position? Like, what what was what led up to it? Well, that, that's a uh, pretty pretty funny topic. It's not really funny, but you know, so ironic, ironic, yeah. So basically, um, I believe uh, Quinn, uh, two two five two five two five, whatever his name was, um, he went ahead. And he got fired, or technically banned from the community. Um, yes, yes. And a lot of people um, suggested that I should apply for the position, go get the position, all that. Um, and um, I know a few people endorsed me. Um, I know Nano endorsed me, um, a few other people. Yes, yes. Nano was the very first news director. I went ahead and on um, 7.23.22 at 11.15 p.m. Um, sent him... I love how you memorize that. Oh, yeah. Sent him a message um, uh, telling him just a little about myself. Um, I sent him a copy of a news article I wrote in real life since I was um, on journalism for my school. At that point, I was in middle school, um, and uh, currently I'm in high school. Don't worry. But uh, so I, I sent him a message, uh, a, a news article. Um, sent him two actually, and then I sent him a uh, GLN uh, newspaper we did, as well as a episode of GLN Let's Talk. 
Um, at 7 23 20, uh, 22 at 11 37 p.m he sent me a uh, few different messages um, including a um, uh, oath of oath ooh, an oath of office I needed to take and just a few other things that I need um, from that point I was um, put into announcements and was appointed the third director of Greenpoint Local News. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, and since then, I am the second, second longest um, director, right behind Nano Laws with a few years. Uh -huh. um, and um, since then, uh, we have produced stories and we have been acting in the public's interest. Yep. Uh, you want to hear my story? Sure, go ahead. My, my well, story well, is actually well, pretty are, interesting. Are you going to talk about um, Department of Justice or the FBI? I'm going to talk about FBI. I'm okay. going to start. I'm going to talk about the very beginning. So if you don't know, I was the FBI director before. Uh, so basically, the former director, King Cop 007... Uh, he resigned, right? He was only in the position for about a month and a half, but he resigned. Um, he had stuff going on. And so at the time, there were, after he resigned, there were four people on the high command team. It was the deputy director, Henry G., uh, the assistant director, Sweet Stat, uh, and then two captains, which was UAs, who is now known as NYPD operator, um, and me. And, uh, and, and um, all of those people um, have you? Well, most of the people I don't think NYPD operator has, but most of them have left the community. Correct. Correct. Uh, Sweet Stat actually, I believe, got banned. Oh. I'm not completely sure though. Uh, um, and so this was in uh, 2020, early 2020, like Julyish, June, June 2020. Um, and so basically police sent a message to me. He sent a message to Henry, the deputy director, sweet stat, the assistant director, and then you aced the, um, the, and the other captain. Um, and so he basically asked us to send him an application. Um, and so I sent him an application. I sent him like my resume. I sent him a database I made too. I literally sent him a, a database. I spent 30 minutes making just to try to impress him. I'll let you know the database looked absolutely horrible. Like going back and looking at it now, it looked horrible. So basically a few days later, I was in a Greenpoint general chat, just talking to the people, just chilling. Uh, I get dragged up to the founder's office. Like the sheer terror I had was to say, I still remember this day. Um, this was June 24th, 2020. Um, and so in, in that chat was, uh, police was Tennessee, who at the time was the chief of staff, um, tag who at the time was the head administrator and Schneider, who was the assistant chief of staff. Um, and then Coop as well. Coop was the co-founder at the time. Uh, and police basically was like, Hey man, I, I don't know if you ever talked to police, but his voice is like scarily deep. He was like, "Hey, man." And uh, we'll, so, we'll we'll put a little clip of him talking. Uh, right yeah, here. yeah. Well, we can pull it from Nano's little interview with him. Um, but he was like, "Hey, man." So we only received three applications out of the four of you, and yours was the best. I at this time I'd been in the community for about a year. Um, she was like, "And you've been here the longest as well." So. Uh, we're going to go ahead with you for director. Anyway, so then I was director. I implemented a lot of changes. I hired like 20 high command people because, like I said, at that point, we only had four. Um, and yeah, that was that was. Why did you name our community Greenpoint? Uh, Greenpoint is a neighborhood based out of an area in Brooklyn. As you know, I live in New York. So I just went with that. I, didn't, I, I haven't seen that name commonly used around Roblox or anywhere rather so I'll take that. 
as it's a it's a piece of home to me. At June twenty fourth, twenty twenty, and here we are, March nineteenth, twenty twenty three. Um, the longest serving, and I'm now the longest serving department head in the history of the city of Greenpoint. I believe Nano is second, correct? That sounds. Right. Um, it would that would either be Nano or Tag, one uh, of one of them. Yeah. What? what Tag was Tag was sheriff for a sheriff. long, long time. Yeah, wasn't um, Tennessee, uh, sheriff? Yes, he was. He was commissioner of NYSP. Oh yeah, and then, uh, basically, once he get pr- once he got promoted to co-founder, he resigned. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, what goals did you achieve uh, within the FBI and uh, GDOJ? Um, there were there was a lot. There there was a lot, specifically with FBI. Um, there was a lot that I had. You know, there's a lot of per- policies and procedures and programs that other communities that I had been in had implemented and I wanted to implement them into Greenpoint because they just made everything overall more professional. Uh, And so there was some stuff I implemented, right? So I structured FBI completely differently, um, kind of like a military branch, which is how FBI really is structured in real life, um, kind of structured based off of a military branch. Um, And then uh, as well, I uh, did a completely new training program because no one was getting trained correctly. I had some new ranks, and I changed the ranks around. So before it was like any other law enforcement tar- par- department. You had officer, corporal, sergeant, lieutenant, captain. And so I changed those to reflect the actual FBI chain of command. Um, and then there's some other precedents that I had kind of set and things I had kind of set that other departments eventually picked up. Um uh, and so that that's kind of the big thing. Um, and obviously within DOJ, my goals were to bring something to the community that never has been. And, you know, you're going to see in the next few months with all these new stuff, with all this new stuff releasing between CRIM, releasing um, something else I can't, can't really say, um, but you can apply for it right now, actually, um, uh, on the DOJ website. I can't really say exactly what it is. It's going to be released soon. Um, and then we're doing stuff like obviously attorney stuff. We're doing justice stuff. We're doing, you know, if you like managing personnel and hiring people and doing human resources stuff, we have that for you. If you like being someone's assistant, managing calendars and facility reservations, we have that for you too. Um, so that, that was kind of my goal with DOJ. Um, because we have so many departments in Greenpoint, uh, I feel like rather than, um, adding more um we should add positions to individual departments if you get what i'm saying um and that that's just kind of my opinion i feel like we have too many departments in greenpoint um but you know that's not that's not my decision that's not my thing uh that's just my my opinion and so kind of bringing collectively all those opportunities in different categories into one was my goal basically right and um about the positions you were talking about um out of human resource uh, civilian department relations i'm just gonna name them all uh judicial yeah. positions uh finance positions law firm positions school of law positions criminal justice positions and civil lawsuit positions um if if I had to guess which ones he was referring to, it would be between civil law, um, probably law firm and finance. That that would be probably the three I'd guess. Obviously, he can't say, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's between one of those three. We will see. We will see. We will see, indeed. Just give us a wink. Just give us a wink. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Okay. <laughs> it, it's one of those three. That's my guess. That's my guess. All right. Um, so, baseball. I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. In your opinion, in your experience, what does the ideal leader look like to you? Well, it would be someone who um, unites people. Um, they're they're not just there to go on a power trip or um, 
get the logs in, but there to have fun and really enjoy um, the time um, within the department. Now, of course, we all want an active department. Um, everyone wants that. But um, as long as you're having fun, really, um, or it's a fun department, I I personally don't care that much about activity as long as you're having fun. Um, but, of course, I want some activity, but... It's not. It's not the top of my agenda. Fun is always at the top of my agenda. Cause, in the end of the day, it's just a. It's it's really just a hobby, just to get you out of the real world and all that. Um, Absolutely, I mean it's just a game. It's not that deep, as um, my friend Peter uh, would say. Yeah, and I uh, kind of an episode me and Nana did, um, way back in twenty twenty one. 21, 2021, 2022 ish was um, it was basically like the the overthinking and addiction to stuff like this. Um, and so I'll get you the exact title real quick. Um, so basically, the title was Greenpoint's purpose and emotional attachment. Um, and that was a that was like. That episode really hit home with me personally because it, in the end of the day, that really what it is. It's an emotional attachment to a server that's, ho that's being hosted in California. Um, so, I mean, it's the question, the big, big question is why do we do it? And in the end of the day, it comes down to the devotion, the fun, and the thrill. So that doesn't really have anything to do with leadership, but I'm just saying at the end of the day, the reason why we do it comes down to those three things. Exactly. Uh, and so uh, there, uh, we will put that uh, uh, episode link in the description. It's been a tough, busy day at school today. You have lots of homework to do. You just completed three assignments and that one friend that you've been loving for such a long time betrayed you. But there is one thing that you can look forward to once you go home and log on to your computer, and that is Greenpoint. You log on to your computer and you fire up Discord. You check your pings in the departments you're in and see if you've been accepted into any new departments and see if there are any updates or any announcements. Many people are like this. They go back home and they look forward to playing Greenpoint and being a part of the community. This is why on today's episode of the Greencast, we will be covering what exactly makes Greenpoint so appealing and why Roblox roleplay communities bring so much joy into people's lives and sometimes so much hate, so much fear, and so much sadness as well. as well um, as well as a little clip from that um, so somewhere in there we added it yeah um, anyway back to this leadership thing I don't know if you've seen this but I've seen I've read studies and I've, I've experienced this firsthand do you know what the types are like type a B C D I, I I personally do not know so type a you've probably heard this term before but it's like control freak oh yeah like organized like you, like nobody's business. Like you've never seen someone that's organized. Um, like control for like when you when they make up their mind about something, n literally no one will change it. Um. Uh, and so basically, um, basically, my experience and like the scientific research that I've read about this is the best type of leaders are type B and C. Um, so that's like, that's like people who they're not as, I guess they don't, they're not as organized, which I mean, obviously that that's, you don't have to be uber organized. Um, but also that's, uh, that's, a uh, type B and C people, they listen, they listen to feedback, um, 
and they listen to what people around them think and they think about the people around them first before they think about just, oh, this seems fun to me. I want to do this because this is going to be fun for me. I don't know if it's going to be fun for other people. It's going to be fun for me. So kind of what I've learned is the two best type of leaders um, are type B and Cs. Um, so I've kind of, you know, learned that through, even in real life, I've learned that and I've experienced that. Right. And um, it's really important um, to make sure you have a B and C um, leader, um, just, just like uh, Alaska said, just so you can have fun and enjoy your time. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, um, what else is there to talk about? Um, I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. So, uh, of course, you already know this, but the Greencast is now back for a um, first episode uh, within. Um, Greenpoint, and uh, yeah, uh, Greencast, it's going to be bought back by me, of course, I was in the, uh, I think one or two episodes of the Greencast, and of course, Alaska, yeah, the veteran, yep, he, he was in almost all of them, I think. Um, yeah, most of them. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for us, just let us know, either by direct messaging us, or pinging us in GLN, Greenpoint, City of Greenpoint server, anything. Um, you have anything else, uh, Alaska? I do not. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, that's going to be a wrap for the first episode of the Greencast. We hope you enjoyed our discussions about the latest happenings in Greenpoint, as well as our tips for living a more sustainable lifestyle. Um, again, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this episode and any suggestions you have for future topics. Uh, you can reach out to us on Discord. Um, and um, we'll also leave our um, Discord information in our show notes. Um, and don't forget to turn in uh, for our next episode um, where we'll be discussing um, more Greenpoint stuff and highlighting some of the amazing initiatives um, happening around the community. And maybe we'll even interview someone. Um, thanks for listening yes, to indeed. the Greencast. And remember... Make sure you go Make sure you go to doj.greenpointdoj.com slash careers. Yeah. I had to get that in there. Uh-huh, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. And um, thank you to our sponsorship, uh, Greenpoint Local News, acting in the public's interest. Um, and if you would like to go ahead and join GLN, um, please do that via the Join a Team tab in the City of Greenpoint main server. All right, thanks for listening to the Greencast. And remember, small actions can make big differences in creating a greener future for us all. See you, you know, in the I, next... I should... Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, see y'all in the next episode. You know, I should probably give Gian their website back. Anyway, yeah, see y'all in the next episode. Greenpoint Local News.